हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्टडीड व्हाट इज ट्रांसपोर्ट ऑर्गेनाइजर व्हाट इज ट्रांसपोर्ट रिक्वेस्ट एंड व्हाट आर द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सिस्टम्स इन एसएपी सिस्टम लैंडस्केप नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद व्हाट आर द वेरियस types of transport request and what are the various status of the transport request so total we have four types of transport request first one is workbench request second one is customizing request third one is transport of copies and the fourth one is relocation each and every type of transport request has always two status what are those two types of status modifiable and released so total we have four types of transport request and each and every type of transport request has two status one is modifiable and another is released now if i will go to sc09 or sc10 transaction code you can see we have four types of transport request and we have two types of status now we will start with our first type of transport request that is workbench request during the basics of ERP, SAP, and ABAP. At that time, we only only covered the introduction of only workbench request. Now it's a turn to dig down into each and every type of transport request. So we will start with the first type of request that is workbench request. so what is workbench request a workbench request is for carrying out development work in the abap workbench whenever we are going for any kind of development that development will always always store into which type of request that is workbench request suppose we are creating some program we are creating some class we are creating some table structure function module so each and every type of development work store into which type of transport request always always workbench request it is clearly saying a workbench request is for primarily code or custom object custom object means customized object depends upon the customer customer requirement we are creating table we are creating custom table we are creating custom program we are creating custom class so all these developments will store into which type of transport request workbench request so now what we will do we will take a requirement and we will start or we will achieve that requirement using workbench request suppose customer is saying he want a program for the sum of two numbers he want a program for the sum of two numbers now we cannot go for the program creation in the production system we will create a program in development from the development it will go to quality from the quality it will go to production so how how our program will go from development to quality and quality to production with the help of transport request only now we are creating a program program means it is a development so it means we need to create which type of transport request we will create a workbench request so firstly what we will do this is sc09 transaction code we will simply simply click on to this create button now 
we will create which type of request workbench request now always always provide a meaningful description to the transport request and in the projects this description is always always vital always play vital role because it will help us to understand that for which purpose we created this transport request suppose i will give the description suppose suppose we will say development 1 sum of two numbers whenever i will click on to the save button SCP will generate a unique transport request number. I will click on to save. You can see SCP generated a unique transport request and the number is 901643. Inside this request, we have a subtask also which ended with 44. In the future, I will come on to that subtask part also. But just understand at this point of time, this is your main request number. This is your main request number. And see, it is which type of transport request? Workbench request. Now, just see what is written here, modifiable. So as of now, the status of the transport request is what? modifiable so whenever we are creating the request what is the status of the same modifiable and we will go for full explanation just few minutes after few minutes what is modifiable and released now now what we will do we will create a program and we will store that program into this transport request so I will go to SC38 transaction code. So we created a workbench request having status modifiable. Now we will give some program name. We all know we have to give the program name starting with Z or Y. Z program sum of two numbers. I will click on to create button. I will give the title sum of two numbers. I will choose the type as executable program. I will click on to save button. Now do not save it as a local object because if you will save it as a local object Local object can never, never be transported to other system. In the real projects, we always, always has to move the object from one system to another system. So at that point of time, never, never store them as local. So what I will do, I will save into package first. I will click on to save button. Whenever I will click on to save button, system will ask for the transport request. Transport request pop-up will come. Never, never blindly put OK because you might have multiple transport requests. So you have to choose the respective transport request only. So always, always make a practice that you will click on to own request button first whenever you will click on to own request button you will get all the transport requests which are created by your user id so these all are my request my request so this is the transport request which i created with the help of description you can predict i will expand and I will simply, simply double click. Do not confuse with this request. This was what was previously created. This is the newly request which I created just now. I will just go for OK. I will go for OK. So now my 
program saved into that transport request. If I will activate the program and show you, this is our transport request. I will go to back button. I will go for display. And you can see where if I will expand this transport request, so our program stored into this particular transport request. Now, I will just write the logic in this program. Suppose I will take two input. You all know if I want to give input to the program, we can give through parameter or select option. So I will give first input. The post first input is numc2. I will go for second input. Suppose second input is also numc numeric 2. I will activate the program. I will change the description of these parameters. So I'll go for go to text element selection text. This is your first input. This is your second input. I will not go into detail of the program because our topic is to understand the transport request. So I'll just write a simple program. I will declare one variable which will store the result. Type numc. I'll just write the logic. LV underscore output is equal to P underscore input one plus P underscore input two. Now I will simply print the result using write statement. I'll check the syntax and activate the program. I will give the input 20, 10, execute. The result is 30. So I checked that program is working fine in development. Yes. And this program is in this particular trans in this is in this particular transport request. Now we need to move this program to the quality system so that functional can do the testing. Then once the testing is over, this program should go to the production system so that customer can is customer can use this particular program. So this part we will be we will check or we will understand in the next video. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we studied that we have four types of transport request. First one is workbench request, customizing request transport of copy relocation we always always has two status of the transport request first one is modifiable and released then we started with the first type of transport request workbench request whenever you are doing any kind of development always that development will store into which type of request workbench request so we created the workbench type of request and we created a program and we stored that program into that workbench request in the next video we will continue this topic workbench request so that's it in this video thank you